Um, good morning. I am Teresa Widger. I am chairperson for the uh, Salem County Chamber of Commerce. And so excited to be here this morning. I saw a lot of you last night at the uh, veterans dinner. So that was great. I, I'm tired of seeing you, Mike Gorman. I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot but, of say that. Yeah. <laughs> we can say that because we love you, right? Um, so first of all, I would like to just thank the uh, chamber, Jennifer, and our board. If you're on the board, can you just wave your hand and... All right, way to represent. Um, this year, we're really focused on engagement and this board has been engaged. They want to be around you, they want to be with you, and they want to know what they can do with you and for you. So thank you to the board. Thank you to all of our members. So I know we have a lot of great stuff today. Um, everyone's been working hard on their presentation, so I'm going to pass it over to Bill Clark, who leads our Business Education Committee, to get the day started. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa, and welcome to our 21st leadership breakfast it's a pleasure thank you it's a pleasure to introduce members of the business education committee and it's truly a dedicated group that works hard throughout the year and especially for this particular event everybody is playing an important role in today's leadership breakfast and I'll explain that in a moment I'll call your name, and if you could remain standing, we'll start with our longest serving member, Kim Gattuso. Kim? As you know, Kim is one of our panelists. Jason Reese. Not surprisingly, he is our audio technician today. Bonnie Baker. Bonnie may not be in the room at the moment, she is our in-house logistics person each year when we hold the event at the Votec. Does a great job. Christine Hooks. Christine will present right after our breakfast. And I mustn't forget our moderator, Mike Gorman. You may all be seated now, thank you. <laughs> On behalf of the committee, we also wish to thank Steve Graham for videotaping today's program and Jennifer will be announcing when that's available on the Chamber website. If you're interested in joining the committee, we meet on the third Wednesday of the month, nine o'clock on Zoom. And if you'd like to join, try it out, please let Jennifer know or one of the committee members. And with that, I'll turn it back to Teresa. So, my name's Jack Swain. I'm the superintendent for Salem County Vocational Technical Schools and Salem County Special Services School District. And uh, on behalf of myself, our administration, our staff, and our students, uh, we, we love to have you here and we, we do welcome you. Um, so, before I get going real quick, I got two, two pieces of news, one sad <laughs> and one happy. I barely made it to work today. I was in severe, severe depression, still upset, but yet I drug my carcass here to be with you. After that Phillies loss, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was pretty tough, tough to watch that, but I'm happy to be here. Uh, the other part is, for those of you who've known me for a while, again, you know, I've been in the uh, county for a little over 20 years, uh, still kind of a, a newcomer, as, as you would call in Salem County, however, uh, I've gotten more compliments on my mustache than you know anything. I got to be honest with you. I was down Atlantic City, and people are like, you know, you look like you look like that guy from the '80s. I'm like, oh, that's a real compliment. Yeah, you know that that's, that Magnum guy or whatever. So that's good news. If I look like Tom Selleck, I guess I'm, I might be doing okay, but I really don't look like him. So anyway, welcome to uh, to the leadership breakfast. It's a uh, real really a pleasure. Look, one of the great things that I, I really do love about this, this is my 34th year in education and one of the things I do truly truly love you heard our culinary students when Mr. Carter uh, introduced them the ability that we have to reach the entire county from Pensgrove to Pittsgrove and all places in between you know the students come here as freshmen and I always call it the 720 day transformation because that's what we have with these students here at Salem County Vocational Tec Technical School, 720 days. And you know, most of the time when we speak at graduation, that's one of the things that really resonates with the students. 
I can't believe it went that fast. I can't believe I'm done. But you know, the good part of the conversation is always the fact that they feel prepared. They feel that they're ready. Um, a lot of our students do go on to either a two-year, four-year institution, a trade school, military, et cetera, but they're prepared for both, both designations, you know, the workforce or college, whichever they decide to go, you know, whatever avenue. Now, for me personally, during my administrative navigation, so to speak, I've been here 10 years, I was an assistant principal in my former life, and I was in charge of seniors and freshmen. And I had about 400 seniors that I was in charge of. And back in that time frame, the interesting part that was kind of disheartening at times for me, I'd tell my secretary, I'd say, hey, start bringing my students in, you know, quite a few at a time, because you got to get through 400. And I'd start in March, and I would talk to every senior in our class. The good news was six out of 10 knew what they were going to do. I'd sit them down. Most of them I didn't know because they weren't discipline, you know, discipline issues. Good kids by all accounts. But the other scary part of that, so six out of 10 knew what they were gonna do. The scary part for me was the other four. The other four out of 10 that would sit before me and they didn't have a lot of direction. They didn't know what they were going to do. I always feel very good because I know the vast majority of our students through the administration and teaching staff here they do have an avenue that they have a vision for where they want to go. So that's, that's a wonderful thing. Um, I thought what I would do just real quick, and, and I want to thank Ms. Jones for allowing me to take a few minutes here with all you folks. Um, first of all, Salem County, getting back into what I call the Salem County bubble. It's a wonderful thing. I was in Atlantic City for three days speaking at the New Jersey school boards, and it's nice to come back to Salem County. You get that home feel. Um, I'd like to thank all of you in this room for your support. It's very, very important to institutions like Salem Community College, Salem County Vocational Technical School, for the young people that are in this county, the opportunities that potentially you have given them in the past. Your support is ultimately very, very important, but also I'd like to thank our Board of Education. We can't do what we do here at Salem County Votech and Special Services without the support of our Board, board of Education members. So just real quick, work-based learning, um, look, uh, our 11th and 12th graders, they need you. Um, I would certainly tell you that if you'd like to partner, you know, with our uh, school district in regards to getting those. And for, again, for your support, um, people don't realize a lot of times on our special services side, we have what's called a tr transition career program as well, that we have our special needs students who go out throughout the county and out, you know, beyond our county, wall, uh, county boundaries to, to get jobs and work. Um, so, look, if you have, think you might have a need or you think you could give one of our students an opportunity, uh, the man to my right, your left, uh, is Mr. Helder, administration, and Mrs. Hoffman, who's our work-based learning coordinator, they would love to talk with you, so we would really appreciate that opportunity. Um, so as far as infrastructure, real quick, just a couple updates here at Salem County Votech. Um, as you came in this morning, I hope you all noticed that we wound up finishing our, uh, our parking lot. Um, you know, environment is very important, just like the college or any place else. We believe environment is very important. We try to do our very best to provide our students with a wonderful environment, clean, safe. Um, so we got our new parking lot, and uh, no more potholes. You don't need four-wheel drive to come into our lot anymore, and, and things are good. Um, we're getting ready to go. At, we, we are going out right now currently for a bid on our welding lab uh, for submerged arc welding. That was part of the initiative with the Windport and beyond other industries, so we're gonna be doing that. For those of you who wonder, I say submerged arc welding. A lot of people think, isn't that underwater with like, you know, uh, you know, bo bottles on your back and you're under, no, it's a, pro it's a welding process. A lot of people I talk to, they're like, oh, you guys getting a pool over there to vote tech? Although I'd love a pool, we're not putting a pool in. Um, we're also getting a renovation. We just started uh, our HVAC program last year. And um, if you get an opportunity someday to tour our building, we're getting actually to do a complete revamp of our HVAC building. <laughs> Uh, our HVAC classroom. I'd like to thank Ms. Widger and PSE and G. If you go into our gym now, we have brand new scoreboards that she and PSE and G were a huge part of. Uh, you know, she called up and said, "Hey, can, you know, can we help your school district out?" And we're very appreciative of that, Mrs. Widger. So thank you so much. Programmatically, this year here, we got a chance to open some new academies. Uh, we have relationships with four of the five school districts in Salem County. For those of you who don't realize it, this year here. Uh, we opened up an Academy of Business and Finance at the Woodstown Piles Grove School District, which is kind of awesome. Uh, out in Pitts Grove, we opened up an Academy of Exercise and Kinesiology. 
And then in 24, 25, we're going to be opening up a new technology cybersecurity academy at Pennsville. <laughs> now, we already have some existing relationships academy with those folks, but we're really excited to kind of move into some new directions and give students new offerings. Um, also, taking a look here at the Vote Tech currently, uh, there's a CTE grant that is coming out, about 30 plus million dollars, and we're hoping to uh, put in our, our, our bid to try to get some of that grant to expand our cafeteria and our gymnasium. One of the restraints that we have here, on behalf, first of all, there's 34,000 students for CTE across the state between the 21 vocational schools. Uh, one of the big issues that vocational schools are running into current is the fact that we can't take them all. And, uh, you know, we run into the same problem as the other 21 vocational schools that we can't take students sometimes because we just don't have the space for them. So we're looking to try to do some form of expansion. In adult education, which is going to transition to um, secondary education here at the high school, we're getting ready to open up in conjunction with Salem Community College and Mid-Atlantic a new mechatronics program here at the VOTAC. So it's going to be housed here. We're going to be working very closely with Dr. Gorman and the folks from Salem Community to, uh, to ensure that this mechatronics, you could also call it, um, you could also call it advanced manufacturing. That's another name for it. Um, and the idea is, again, like we look at industry, right? Everybody in here looks at industry. Salem County is, having, is going to have some wonderful opportunities for, for all of us. So the warehousing industry, um, the wind port, things of that nature there, we really feel that uh, um, the mechatronics program is going to be, go be a good one. Part of the grant was about $460,000 worth of mechatronics equipment. So we're, we're very blessed and fortunate that we're, we're going to be a part of that. Um, extracurricular wise, we've moved our, all of our athletic programs, which we just started about four, four years ago, five years ago, have moved into the varsity realm. So we're playing varsity sports here at Salem County Votech. Um, Future additional offerings that I'm looking into, and Mr. Helder and all the folks here, we're looking to get into baseball and softball, as well as choral and instrumental music. We want our students to be as well-rounded as we can possibly get them and prepare them to move forward. Um, I talked a little bit about our enrollment, continues to be stable. We could grow if we wanted to, but as I alluded to earlier, there's a couple things we got to do on our end before we can, can really move forward with that. And then finally, I would be remiss if I didn't remind everybody that this is our 50th anniversary for education in the county. Uh, we started in 1974, and we're still going strong here in 2024. Um, we did a time capsule. There's several activities that we're going to be doing here. We started out in August with the time capsule opening, which was right out here by the main office. Mr. Gorman was probably there at that. You mean in the first burying of it? <laughs> in, the first bur <laughs> in the first burying of it. Um, but. We actually had Bill Adams, who was kind of the, uh, the, the, the founder of this di district. He's 80 plus years of age. He came, he actually opened, opened that and kind of read the, he actually was able to tell us what the contents were, were before he actually opened it. Um, and he went through it and it was just a great event. Some other things that we're going to be doing here for our 50th, we're making an alumni hall, uh, wall of fame right here to my right, your left. Um, that'll be going up here very, very shortly. And then we, we're at the foundation dinner. We're going to be basically honoring our alumni and the school was as a whole. So with that being said, I don't want to go, go on unless you want me to. Does everybody want me to keep going for another half hour? I'm just teasing. Hey, thanks folks for coming. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it and have a great morning. Thank you folks.